Shout out to Brown, Aaron Smith Jr. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. This one here is on two legends in this fight game and a Hall of Fame trainer. We got the legendary Canelo Alvarez, the hottest fight on the planet right now, the four division world champion, the number one pound for pound king, and most definitely the undisputed super middleweight world champion. Then we have Oscar De La Hoya, the sixth division world champion. We all know Oscar is um, one of the legendary fighters in the game. He is the CEO of Golden Boy Promotion and the promoter of Ryan Garcia and Virgil Ortiz. So now, Oscar De La Hoya has came out. He has spoke up on, on the Ryan Garcia, Virgil Ortiz, and the Eddie Reynoso Canelo situation. I want y'all to listen to what Oscar had to say, and I'll be back with the great assessment, family. Being the very best one, and if Canelo tells Eddie, hey, let's go on vacation, he drops everything and he goes, because they're best friends. So it wouldn't have been fair to Virgil or the fighters we now see with Ryan, he went with Joe Goosen, which is a great choice. Um, you know, it's, it's timing. And, um, you know, uh, Eddie Reynoso only has time for Canelo. That's the bottom line. And so the choice that, that the Virgils made was an excellent one because moving out here to LA, they have the sparring, they have the trainer who is the second voice, who has the knowledge, he has the experience. I think this was a great move, excellent move. And I tell y'all every time that this man hate on Canelo and Eddie Reynoso, I tell y'all every goddamn time that Oscar De La Hoya throws salt on Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Reynoso every chance he get. But y'all don't believe Money Brown. You got catching my comment section. Oh, man, they didn't say that. They didn't say this. Let me tell y'all something, bro. Let me tell y'all something right now, bro. Oscar De La Hoya gives two fuck about Canelo and Eddie. I don't give a damn how nice he try to put it. Oh, you know Canelo. Oh, no, no, no. Canelo's a beast. Oh, Canelo. I don't give a fuck what he say. Deep inside, he despised Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Reynoso. Every time Canelo Alvarez signed a big fucking contract and he know he's not getting a percentage of it anymore, right? He knows he's not getting a percentage of it even more. I mean, anymore. It, 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 it cringes fucking soul. Do you understand me? It cringes his soul. You feel me? So his best thing is to do is to make sure that Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Reynoso, where we can say Eddie, gets another dime off any of his fighters. Any of his fighters. It's chest out here, man. It's chest. But y'all don't listen to money, bro. This dude despised them, bro. Now, what Oscar De La Hoya has done was get into the heads of Virgil Ortiz and get into the head of Ryan Garcia and, and made them think that Eddie Reynoso only cares about Canelo Alvarez. I say what Oscar De La Hoya has done was got into the head of these young fighters, right? Because they still high heads at the end of the day. They young. So they can't really see that four right now. You understand me? They can't really see over that mountaintop right now because Oscar De La Hoya, you know, he's standing right there at the mountaintop. And they looking at him as still Oscar, the sixth division world champion, the golden boy, the promoter that's going to put you at the top and make you a world champion, this, that, and the third. They see that in him. They don't see the snake slime ball piece of shit that he really is, right? They too young to see that. They haven't went through it yet. You dig what I'm saying? They haven't seen that yet. Canelo seen that shit. He been there. He been there with him. He been there with him. They haven't seen that snake slime ball piece of shit that he really is. So he's still inside their heads and they listen to him. See, Canelo and Eddie know him, right? They've been through X amount of years with him to know what he really is. You know what I'm saying? He don't want them to, to, to show that face to them young bulls. He don't want Eddie and Canelo to show that face to them young bulls because they know it's going to come out sooner or later. As soon as he fucked them over and Canelo and Eddie can tell him what's really going down, right? He don't want that. So he throws salt in their name. He say that Eddie only have time for Canelo Alvarez. If Canelo tell Eddie, let's go on vacation, he's going to drop everything and run, right? As if he don't have obligations with his other fighters. As if Canelo is a selfish motherfucker to where he don't care about Ryan Garcia. He don't care about Virgil Ortiz. He don't care about Oscar Valdez, um, Andy Ruiz, or Frank Sanchez, and everybody else that's in the camp that Eddie Reynoso is going to train. You see how he painted that picture that fast? Do y'all see how he painted that picture and just threw Canelo and Eddie under the bus as if they only cared about each other or they best friends, right? That's just the truth, the fact of the matter. No, that's bullshit, bro. That's pure bullshit. And for you to say that shit, Oscar De La Hoya, you, you're more of a piece of shit, bro, than I even thought you were, bro. I always knew you was a backstabbing piece of slime ball snake-ass person, bro. 
But now you're more of a piece of shit because now you're taking these fighters from being great and working with somebody that can help them get over the hump, right? That care about their well-being, right? Only because you want a fucking dollar and you know they want to listen to you because they're fucking signed to you. They're under your promotion company. So you have big influence on them. You have a very, very big influence on them, right? If they try to go against the grain, you could probably sit them on the fucking shelf and not let them fight for X amount of years. You understand what I'm saying? But when I look at this situation, I look at Ryan Garcia, he come out and say the shit he say. I look at Virgil Ortiz, he's sitting up there on the podium, and he's saying the shit he say. And they're talking about timing. Oh, the timing isn't right. Oh, the timing. Oh, the timing. Listen to fucking Oscar De La Hoya fuck y'all out of some fucking greatness. Oh, timing, timing. Oh, I think, I think, I think Ryan picked a good coach. I mean, Joe Goosen, oh, he's a no, he's a no nonsense trainer. You know, he's going to do this. He's going to do that. And, you know, Virgil, you know, he, he picked his dad. Who knows you better than your dad? And who knows this? And who knows that? Like, get the fuck out of here with that weak ass shit. Shut that soft ass shit up like A, B, or say. Shut that soft ass shit up. But Oscar De La Hoya sent up her backstab Eddie, Reno Eddie Reynoso and Canelo Alvarez because he want to make sure Eddie don't make a dime off his fighter because all he think about is money. All Oscar De La Hoya think about is money, man. Canelo told y'all already, man. He left him in fucking Miami with a $7 million lawsuit that he said he took care of, that he never even fucking touched. He never touched it. He told Canelo Alvarez that he would take care of the $7 million lawsuit, right? Canelo Alvarez out of Miami thinking he cool straight. He's sitting up in a motherfucking courtroom and Oscar De La Hoya left him on his own. Left him on his own, bro. On his own. You see what I'm saying? He's a fucking backstabbing snake, bro. And he's going to fuck these kids over. And he's going to fuck their career up, I'm telling you. He really is. As long as he can fill his coffins up, fill up his pockets, that's all he care about. That's all he care about. And Ryan don't see it. Virgil don't see it because they too fucking young to understand it, bro. They too young to understand it. They really want to be in that Canelo count, right? I don't know about Ryan. Ryan throwing salt. Ryan throwing salt. Ryan is turning to a fucking hater of Canelo Alvarez. He's going to come out and tell the truth in a minute because he can't, he can't hold this shit in. He can't hold it in. He just said Canelo, um, Canelo Alvarez gloves suck. I got a video coming on that soon. He can't hold this shit in. Ryan Garcia can't hold it in. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Virgil Ortiz, he really want to be in that Canelo count. He do. But he let Oscar De La Hoya... You know, talk them out of that shit. And everybody that's in my comment section, oh, they said it was time and it was time and it was time. Don't tell me about no fucking timing, bro. It ain't never the wrong time to go get with a fucking Hall of Fame trainer, right? And, and a fucking count with a legend in Canelo Alvarez and bettering yourself. It, it ain't never like, you know, don't talk to me about no fucking timing. Because what, you gonna go to another coach and there's better timing with that coach than with Eddie Reynoso? Oh, well, let me go with, with, oh, you know what? I'm going to get with this coach over here. I think the timing is, man, miss me with that shit. Miss me with it, bro. I don't want to hear that weak ass shit. Set that soft ass shit up like ABSA once again. Miss me with that soft ass timing shit. That's that Oscar De La Hoya bullshit um, to, to, to beat around the bush and make it look like Oscar didn't tell y'all, don't go over there because Eddie Reynoso ain't going to pay y'all no fucking attention and Canelo Alvarez is a selfish motherfucker and only worry about himself. Even though Canelo Alvarez is on record telling fucking Ryan Garcia to keep his little punk ass in a fucking gym, right? Stay in the gym. You understand what I'm saying? Stay here so you can get better. Canelo want to see these dudes get better, man. He want to see these dudes get better. He want to see them at the maximum potential, bro. And if he's in the gym and y'all not giving 100%, y'all think he supposed to just sit back and not say nothing? That's what y'all want? Y'all want a motherfucker to let y'all go out there at 45, 50% when you got so much more in your fucking toolbox? And he know you're not giving it your all because you skipping the gym and not just skipping the gym, probably skipping the gym um, majority of the fucking time. You see what I'm saying? Y'all boys are turning to soft little dudes, man. Soft little dudes, bro. You get a little criticism and you fucking cry like a little girl. You cry like a little girl. Then go over there to fucking uh, Mr. All I Want Is To Pimp You And Take Your Fucking Money So I Can Get Some New Pink Panties To Wear With My Fucking Girlfriend On My Birthday Looking Ass Oscar De La Hoya Right Cause He Ain't Gonna Do Nothing But Scheme You Out Your Goddamn Money Anyway You Understand What I'm Saying Scheme You Out Your Money And Go Live His Life While His Bank Account Still Sitting Full On Freddy You Dig What I Mean And He Throw Salt On Canelo And Eddie Bro But At The End Of The Day I Hope These Fighters Wake Up And Understand This Bro I hope they wake up and understand this. I want Ryan Garcia and Virgil Ortiz to, 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 to you know, to get to their maximum potential, bro. And I'm not saying that Joe Goosen is a bad trainer. I'm not saying that Virgil going with his daddy is a bad call. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is if you're going to make that move, make sure it's your move that you want to make and not because your fucking promoter 
forcing you to make the move because he's telling your ass lies and throwing salt on a fucking trainer that can help your ass become a world champion. You understand me? Why Oscar, um, why Oscar Valdez ain't saying this shit? Why Andy Ruiz ain't saying this shit? Why Frank Sanchez ain't saying this shit? How come they saying they not getting enough time? You see what I'm saying? How come they saying they not getting enough time? So at the end of the day, man, this is just bullshit. This is a, a play by Oscar De La Hoya because he know he can get it to them young kids' heads and he's going to use these boys. He's going to use these boys. He feel like they're the two top cats at his, at his promotional company and he need them full-fledged to be up under his fucking coattail so he can pimp their ass how he want to pimp them. Period. At the end of the day, that's that's all it is. He go pimp Virgil. He go pimp Ryan till he fill up his coffers to where he can pay for his other promotional companies. I mean, serve his other fights on his promotion company to where he don't have to come up out of his own pockets. And when it gets to the point to where he can't use them no more, he go throw their ass out the door and move on to the next. Canelo caught on to that bullshit. Canelo left his ass, and Canelo's in a great fucking place right now. But Ryan and Virgil don't see it. I wish them the best, but I just want them to know they dealing with a backstabbing snake. And, and Oscar De La Hoya, he's going to fuck them around. And, and at that time, y'all go see that Canelo and Eddie Reynoso was the right move. They was the right move. Ryan, you know Canelo treated you like a big brother. But you turned your back, you little backstabber. You got to live with your decision, bro. You really is. I still wish y'all the best, but y'all fucked up, bro. Um, Oscar De La Hoya, you go get what you got coming to you, bro. You are a backstabbing snake. You're trying to turn down Canelo Alvarez, but it won't work. You stand in front of that Canelo Alvarez train, it's coming a 1,000 miles per hour, you know what the fuck gonna happen to you. You know what's gonna happen. Shouts out to Canelo, shouts out to Eddie Reynoso, y'all keep grinding, Kings. And today, it's your boy Monty, this is the NSBC moving and nobody's safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You wanna donate, OG Money on Cash App. Trey have to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share the videos, and y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.